Hello everybody and welcome to number 29 in the Microsoft Access 2013 tutorials. Now this tutorial is going to combine some of the last couple of tutorials. So we've got our, our kind of normal column view of a form. We've got our tabular view of a form. And now what I want to show you is how you squidge them both together to create a super form and uh, it's very useful that when you squish them together like this um, I'm not actually going to use these ones so I'm going to get rid of them yeah go on I'm going to start again so I'm going to press create and I'm going to go on into the form wizard again I just need to add in my fields so sales doo -doo -doo. And then users, username, user age. And that's all I want in there. So I've got all my fields that I want. Click on next. And now I've been telling you not to use these all along. Now I'm going to tell you to use them. And we can either do the items or the users. And what it's going to do is it's going to give us a form where each one of our kind of records is going to be from the item table. And it's going to show us all the information that links into that table, into that particular record. So if I go uh, by, let's look at users and click next. And I want it in tabular form. I don't want it in data sheet form, I want it in tabular. So let's click next. And then it's going to ask us for a name of our form. It's also going to ask us for a name of our subform. I'm just going to leave them both as the default. So I'm going to call this one users sales because I like contradicting myself. Let's press finish and whoosh 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 creates ourselves a super form. Now uh, notice it's created this sub form here. You can safely ignore that. That's just a form it creates in order to slot in here. Uh, and you'll see that what we've got, we've got four records and each of the records is a record from the users table. Uh, and then whenever we're on a record, it's going to show us down here. In this little section it's going to show us details of the sale and it's a bit messy again at the moment so let's go into our design let's go to design view and let's get rid of the field list I don't want the field list and we're gonna squidge all the things across like this so everything looks a lot bigger let's go yeah bigger stretch it out let's make this one smaller because it's taking up far too much room put you over there this one doesn't want to be quite as tall and neither does the entire form and then this just gives us a bit more space to move these ones into the same window because not having them in the same window is just a pain because now you it's because scroll, no one wants to be scrolling when they don't need to. What a waste of our lives. So let's just select all of these. Drag them across. Doesn't like me dragging them all the way across. So let's just keep dragging. Keep dragging. It doesn't, doesn't, like, doesn't like me dragging them. Oh, I've got these selected to sunset them. There we go. Drag them across. And let's make them all a bit smaller as well. That one needs to be bigger. That one's nowhere near big enough. And that one bigger. Right, anyway, you get the gist. I've made it so it all fits in one thing. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We made them too close together, so let's just drag them back across again. There we go. And let's cut all these to the top of the thing, because we don't need that much space in our header so let's just make our header a bit smaller there we go so let's go back into our form view and you'll see now that it's a lot tidier it's a lot easier to see we don't have to scroll across to see all of our data and we can scroll up and down to see our data nicely and uh, that is essentially how you create a super form and they're great really because you've got each of your users so you can simply say oh this is all of my sales. Let's look at my sales. Voila. Nice and easy to use. And it's going to ask if I want to save both of them. So I'm going to press yes. And then I've got them saved. And if I want to go back into it, I just go into my user sales. 
And that's it for this tutorial. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below uh, or jump onto the link in our description to the website and you can put it on the forum. Uh, and if you want to download the source code, then link, click on the link in the description as well. And there's also a link to our Facebook page where we post uh, mostly random stuff. But we do give you some uh, good news updates when we release new content and stuff. So it's worth giving us a like. Plus, then uh, we'll be buddies. Uh, and that's what everyone wants. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe. And I'll catch you soon.